You're listening to Business Talk Radio, where we take business to the next level. Wrapping with Dr. Jacqueline connects you with experts from all over the world to help you take charge of your career, your business, and your life. Wrap along with us. Visit drjacqueline.com to learn how to become a guest or a sponsor. And now, the doctor is in. Hello and welcome. You are watching Wrapping with Dr. Jacqueline presents A Better You. Lessons from the best coaches, consultants, and trusted advisors. If this is your first time joining us, you are in for a treat. This is not an interview platform. This is a presentation platform. I have hand-selected the best people in their field across the world to share lessons with us to help make us better personally and professionally. I am your host, executive producer, director, and broadcast engineer. And today I have two of my team members, two experts. Let's bring them out. Welcome, Stephen Gillen. Welcome, Mariska Dupree. It's so nice to have you. Hi. Hi, Jack. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So Stephen's joining us from England, and Marissa is joining us from New Zealand. Oh, there you go. You have a global uh, group today. Yes, we sure do. So let's get right to it, because I'm so excited. Stephen's joining us for the first time today. He's been interviewing and busy all day long, and it's getting rather late there. So Stephen, I'm going to spotlight you. Why don't you just share with our audience who you are and what you do and about your lesson today. Hi everyone, I'm Stephen Gillen. I, um, I have a colorful history myself. I am a best-selling author. My life story, uh, a biopic, The Monkey Puzzle Tree is being made into a major Hollywood film. Um, I'm a global entrepreneur and I, I'm a um, mastery business and life coach as well as a, a humanitarian is i'm really really privileged to say i am a, a also a peace ambassador who in uh 20 2019 was nominated for an international peace prize this was a wonderful privilege congratulations that's huge i i have to say we've never had anyone on the show who can say that so <laughs> outstanding uh, well done privilege. absolutely thank you jack yeah Thank you. Mariska, let's hear about you. Wow. Um, you guys, for those that has tuned in before, know me. I'm Mariska Dupria. I'm from New Zealand. I'm a transformational and career coach. And yes, I'm still working on that best, best authorship and the rest of it is in the pipeline so that is a very exciting journey and i think i will need to shuffle a little bit closer to stephen so i can hear how he got all of those things done in such a short <laughs> period of time <laughs> lovely and for those who don't know mariska is actually my life coach and she's the one who helped me come up with a plan three plans so i could leave my corporate career and go out on my own so Thank you so much. Uh, that being said, Stephen, I'm going to spotlight you and, and Mariska and I are going to go backstage and we're going to let you start your presentation. Are you ready? I'm ready, Jack. I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Hi, guys. Let me say first, it's a wonderful privilege to talk to you guys, especially in New York. I, uh, I, I have a YouTube channel and I broadcast all over the world. You know, and I've... Um, spoken to many many big names in the states i speak about this now because today what i'm going to speak about is absolutely crucial for all of us whether it's in our personal lives really but certainly our business lives and our journey if we want to make a personal brand or we have another commercial commercial brand as a company entity today i'm going to talk about the importance of profile now, guys, look, you know, I'll just go straight for it. Really raw content exclusive, which I haven't really shared as such. So I'm going to go right in there. I was once, you know, I had a lot of trauma in my early years. Um, 
my story's out there. It's got national press, international press. It's being made into a film. I had a very hard start, as most of us do, a lot of trauma. I actually went to prison, unfortunately, for a long time, transformed my life, come out the other end, and um, you know, I'm very happy and privileged to say, completely metamorphosized my life from the adversity I had to traverse at the start, you know, and end up to having the wonderful life that I work really hard at today and to be a peace ambassador and be nominated uh, a couple of years ago for an international peace prize. How did that happen this middle bit? It's a very unique and gripping story, but there are many stories out there. And the truth is that the world is built by stories. It's structured by stories. How we, um, how we communicate, the best way is really to get our messaging across to other people is through analogies, is through stories. Content really is king. It's very important how we shape our message and that we know what our message is. I mean, I can certainly say of all the people I've coached and, you know, I've uh, had um, gold medal champions, um, heavyweight champions, politicians, um, CEOs, MDs, normal people, all, all kinds of people, you know, it really doesn't matter. But one thing that I've learned through all of this you know, what we centrally do, I will say as well, because it's relevant in our core businesses, is we create national and global brands. So there's a lot of expertise there, guys. A lot of stuff that I've learned um, as an expert at what really works and what doesn't work as well. And it's important to know both. So, you know, I want to take you back to one fundamental thing that we should always think about when we want to grow our profiles of our business, procure more clients get more out there, get the right kind of press, position ourselves in the right demographic for the right kind of clients we may have, or even the right kind of friends, the right kind of partners, the right kind of work colleagues. All this translates. And that one fundamental is that no matter who we are, no matter how our, how colorful our background may have been, or you know, or our schooling, what our religion, or you know, our color, or any of these things, whether we're male, or female, one thing that I know for certain throughout my journey and my work is that we all have a message. We all have a message as human beings which we want to translate to the world. Now, you know, that doesn't matter what medium we may find ourselves trying to do that, whether we're a filmmaker, a writer, a singer, a dancer, a coach, whether we're building skyscrapers in Manhattan, it doesn't really matter. I've learned that this is an expression of our message to the world. So what is really important, and one of the things that we do when we build our brands with real power that translates and gets a real traction is we go to the authenticity of, of the message, the authenticity of the person, the real person, in many respects, not even what they really think. So we have to go behind that to what the real message is. And through that, we reveal their profile, what their real message is, what they're really trying to app it to the world, whether it's a product, whether it's a, a, a personal brand, a book, a song, something to do with nonprofit, something in the humanitarian world, whatever creative thing this is. And in the modern world, guys, content really is king. Especially now if we just go back a little bit before COVID, but even certainly before that, the world has changed. And certainly now it has changed. The mindset has changed. Buying patterns have changed in a way that have traversed. And they won't go back to how they you know how they was you know so many things are, are migrated now online business is done online amazon of course we want it easy we want one touch we see something we like we want to get it from a supplier we trust we see what it says we don't even really want to go to the shops because our lives are so busy so that one touch it's delivered here it's insured we're fine we get what we want pretty much the next day we don't have to worry about it when it comes to business, when it comes to us relaying our message outwards, 
when it comes to um, building a brand, our products, whatever that is, it's very important to get our profile right. So if you remember what I said about the authenticity of the message, it's very important to congruently and conducively know what that message is. My advice is go to specialist professional branding people. I mean, we do it, but I can't stress this enough because you, you can go around and waste so much time by thinking you know better when really you don't. I've learned a long time ago that we can't do everything and if there's a specialist person I need or to do a specialist task, then I, I want that person. I don't try and be there. I don't have the time. I do my strengths to expedite all our work in that way and let other people do theirs. So it's the same when it comes to your profile. Really take care with this because this will translate when you have your message correctly online. Online um, as a footprint. Now, I've had millions of views online, guys, really, millions of views. One of my videos I had with Beta Squad going back not so long ago got one million views in the first day. I kid you not. Now, another thing that's important to say about profile, you know, you may say, oh, yeah, okay, but how do I do that? How does that actually happen? Well, I'll give you a little, you know, a, a real expert tip there about the branding, about getting that right, right? Because when you get that right with your message, right, what you stand for, what your why is, what your end in mind is, then you have your certainty. When you have your certainty, you can exponentially go out and the middle bit is the middle bit. Things come in, but you solve that. So there's, an, there's another indication on how to meteorically get your profile or your business or your product, whatever that is, forward exponentially without going around wasting time money effort all of this stuff now there are many other ways you can do that you can make a podcast i know many people they do that they get a lot of traction through that they interview guests you know and stuff like that you know and you can uh, another great way to do it with uh, many kpis they will know this is to write a book your own story maybe something that you're really good at Get it out there in the market. Because the truth is, guys, that you need to layer your profile in the modern day world. A guy once said to me many, many years ago, Stephen, look, when you get to the point that you're famous, you can really do anything that you want. Now, yeah, okay, I get that. There's a, this is a different kind of bath. But what he was actually saying is, there's an energy here. I mean, it certainly took me many years to get to the level of development as a human being and my career that I've got to. Um, so it's that energy where you're paying, you're investing, you're chasing. But the trick is obviously to get to a point where that energy shifts and they pay you. They're chasing you. You have the life that you've always wanted and you've always created, but that energy has changed and it comes back around the other way. This is your dream life, your dream work. Clients come to you. You don't need to chase clients no more. They want you for your expertise because you're everywhere. You know, you know they say, wow, you know, I, I want to be like that. That's going to translate to my work. And, of course, you don't pay for advertising, really, after paying for so long because you – you build your brand currency like that. So this is really important, especially in the modern day for any business, certainly any personal brand, any author, any uh, KPI, any academic. And um, because this is how you will change the energy easily and get that life that you want. And this is basically all because of profile and how you build your profile in the media. What is your mission statement? What do you really want to do in the world? What is your unique selling point, your uniqueness, your expertise, maybe that translates through a specialist skill that you have? Um, from your life story as it was you know for me which has become unbelievably valuable because of its transformational ability which has transformed my life and 
you know, the hidden jewels within there to help other people who may be struggling through the same thing. So profile guys is absolutely crucial. Now I've seen many, you know, we work with companies from start up to five to a hundred people going up to 200 million guys, really going towards IPO. So we've really, you know, I've really seen it from all ends of the spectrum. And one thing, you know, we work with some really clever, clever guys, but one thing that the really clever, clever people know on their journey is that, they, you know, they may be very specialist in a certain area, but profile is absolutely key because I have to tell you guys, and unfortunately so, but it's the way that it is. Talent is not enough. It's just not. And this is why if you look at many industries, um, some people you would say was really, really talented, they didn't fulfill their potential really. And then you would say that other people, when you look, you'd say, yeah, they're good, but you know, they're right at the top, I'm not quite sure how they got there because so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so was a lot more talented than them. There are many different reasons for this, you know, but one of this is solving problems and the other one is profile development because all them people at the top were certainly at the bottom, the same as everyone else. You know, they certainly, had to solve the problems, but wise people and clever people know how to work the media. They know that their profile is uh, a very valuable currency and it's like their name, right? It's like a culture, you know, in a business. It's like a lifestyle. It is a good way to look at it. So everything they do, everything they put out, how their lifestyle, the clothes they wear, the people they're around, uh, the kind of content they do, um, where they raise the bar in their business and their career and their content reflects on them and their business. So um, this is very important in the modern day. And it ties into so many things. It ties into so many things. But what I would say is really, you know, in today's world, now with the internet, there are so many ways, guys, that, you can raise your profile in a good way if where well, you don't have to spend big loads of money. If you're at a certain stage of development, I would advise you go and get good people, get the best because you want to. But, you know, it really doesn't matter. You have to start somewhere, but it is about doing, learning by doing. So get out there, do some interviews, um, find that authenticity in you, what your message is, what you want to translate, you know, get the right why, get the right shape to it. Get, get your rending in mind, you know, do some interviews, start raising your profile in the right way. And I can guarantee you, yeah, you know, you'll have to work at it. It's like anything. And the way to do content and build your profile is to layer it, is to layer it. But we have to start somewhere. But I can guarantee you, anyone, you know, out there who wants to start a business even, um, they can do very well by just understanding some of these fundamentals that I'm saying about profile, branding, your message, the authenticity of your message, your end in mind, and just working at putting that content out, growing your, your, your fan base, your followers, your subscription site, whatever, guys. There are many, many ways to do it. And you can exponentially, when you have these jewels and cover these jewels, within yourself, not just enhance your life and your journey, but the idea is that you give this expertise downwards, you know, and you help other people and align yourself and collaborate with others as well with your content and your profile on the way through. You know, when you learn of this and you do this correctly, I can promise you that any business you may want to start up or whether you're more developed or you're a little bit further along and you know a little bit more that this will exponentially push your journey so um i hope there's some really good stuff in there for you guys and i wish you really really well i'm really happy and privileged to be working with uh, the wonderful doctor uh dr jacqueline and uh talk to our friends i'm out there you know in the us and all over the world and yeah. And to be on a bit of you, this is my first segment. Um, there's another nine to come, and I'm, I'm really going to give a lot of really exclusive content 
which I don't really give, guys. So it's going to be really good. And thank you for listening. I look forward to the next segment. Bye. Excellent. Excellent. So much great information. I was over here taking notes for myself. So I think for everyone out there who wants to elevate their brand, elevate their profile, I just love what you shared about authenticity and the layering and, and taking that first step and getting out there. So thank you so much, Stephen. How do you feel? No, it was great. You know, I mean, I love to give the value to the people. And, you know, these are real game changers, you know. They really are them little nuggets. And, you know, I've always learned by doing, you know, and I still learn by doing. And, you know, you get some of these things right, you know, it can really, really, really put um, uh, wind under your wings and really get you there, you know. And one thing that you shared that I think is so important is we can't be experts at everything. So work with people who are experts in those areas and take that pressure off yourself of having to do everything. Very, Jack, very important. These are these are classical mistakes that we all make, by the way, you know, on the way through our journey at one time. But, you know, you know, another thing I would say on that is aptitude is absolutely crucial. It's not make the mistakes. Make as many as you can quickly so that we learn from them and we don't go back to that set, set of circumstances. This is a fundamental of success. Very well said. Thank you again, Stephen. I look forward to the rest of your lessons. So if you missed the beginning of the show, please head over to YouTube. By the way, I subscribe to your channel. And I think everyone should also subscribe to Stephen Gillen's channel and also Dr. Jacqueline LLC. Mariska, do you have an, a YouTube channel? Uh, no, I do not have. Not any. yet. No, that is um, one of the notes that I actually put on my little a uh, note-taking pad, um, along with quite a few others, and diversification, content, profile development, just the layering. Um, yeah. that I, th I think it's something that we miss. We, we, we tend to want to focus in one area and go, oh, I'm going to be really great in this one. But it's good to have a more diverse uh, platform base too. Absolutely. You know, and the value you've got, you know, is immense. And there's so many people the same. It may, it may just be, be a small expertise, but, you know, to put this outwards to people, it really changes things. Hmm. Definitely does. Definitely does. Thank you so much, Stephen, for being here. I, I don't know if you're going to uh, hang around, but it's, it's up to you. We're going to go to commercial break and then Mariska, you'll be presenting. How okay. does that sound? Okay. Thanks, Thank Thank Bye, you. Bye. Bye. Hi, my name is Zane Carson Carruth, and I'm the author of this book, The World's First Tooth Fairy Ever. Reading is magic. Studies have shown that reading to your children lays the foundation for greater success in life. Reading helps develop language and vocabulary skills. It helps improve memory, and it encourages curiosity and inspires creativity. The benefits are immeasurable, and as a parent, you'll benefit too. In only 10 or 15 minutes a day, you'll be creating more memories and a bonding experience that will last for years to come. So take time to read to your children. Read them books about things that engage and interest them. Tales of fairies and magic fascinate children, and as everyone knows, the Tooth Fairy is at the top of the list. If your child loves magic, wands, adventure, and what child doesn't, you'll love reading them books from the trademark series, The World's First Tooth Fairy Ever. Follow along as Abella, the world's first tooth fairy, accidentally starts the tooth fairy tradition. Learn the tricks of being a professional tooth fairy in the book, Abella Starts a Tooth Fairy School. Your child's imagination will soar as you read the adventures of Abella and her magic wand. These wonderful books are available at worldsfirsttoothfairy.com and at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Walmart. It's what we do together that counts. The Big Alliance Story. A true story about faith over adversity, perseverance, and entrepreneurship. Read Earl's story and how he became an entrepreneur. Available on Amazon, Kindle, and Audible.com. 
For more information, contact Earl Hurd at earlhurd at vicalliance.com or call 1-800-460-4242. Stations are tuned in too. You're listening to Business Talk Radio, where we take business to the next level. Hello again. Welcome back to Wrapping with Dr. Jacqueline presents A Better You. We just had Stephen Gillen on, and he presented a very compelling presentation. And now we have Mariska, who's going to present her presentation. So I will just remove myself and add your presentation, and you're ready to go. There you go. Yeah. Let me just get all the right buttons in the right places. Okay. So for today, we are looking at why your mindset is important. So it might link in a little bit with what Stephen said in our other presentation. So the main things that we will be going through in our presentation is changing our mindset to growth, how we cultivate that, and then how we can use that within our life on a daily basis. So when you're thinking about growing your mindset, we did in our previous segment, we, we looked over mindset and we went through a little bit of the work of Carol Dweck, as well as the neuroscience um, studies and the fact that our brain is plastic, uh, plastic so it actually changes. So what we want to be doing is we want to grow our mind right in when you think about growing your mind it's not just your brain that you think about it is also your body that you think about because we have a thing that is called a body mind now your body mind is the memory that your body holds and the language our body use is feelings so when you think about a celebration that you were part of and you really enjoyed it by thinking of that celebration you can actually bring the feelings that you felt at the celebration back now the same work with our body the other way around if we experience a feeling say for instance um, we get in a stressful situation um, that the the feelings of anxiety might come up. And because the feeling comes up, what it does is it pushes our brain automatically into the thinking pattern that we've linked with anxiety. So our brain goes into thoughts of anxiety, which then in turn cause our body to feel more anxious, and you have a vicious cycle. Um, now, the cycle can work just as well with feelings that you feel good. So if you feel really happy, your thoughts are really happy, which means happy thoughts, happy feelings, and again, that same cycle. So what we want to do is we want to grow ourselves into becoming who we want to be in the world. So when you think about your story, your what you bring into the world. You want to be able to express that fully. Now, we have learned some things over time in our life that we need to unlearn in order for us to express that being um, to its full authenticness in the world. So the ways that we could do that is by changing our operating system. And we do this through new thoughts, which would cause new choices because we will choose something different, which would cause new actions and behaviors, which would cause us to have new experiences. And then of course, new feelings are linked to that. So how do we cultivate this? 
we cultivate this um, by helping our brain create new memories. So the way that we help our brain to create new memories is we can do it in two ways. We can learn and we can do. Now, if we do both of them, it helps us a little bit more. As I mentioned before, we have the brain, which is more focused on the thinking part of the equation. And we have the body that is more focused on the feeling part of the equation. So by doing, we get the body to participate. By thinking, we get the brain to participate. And we need both of them. Because, as I mentioned previously, they work in combination. Now, it's way better for us when our brain and our body actually works together. Now, in some situations, we want to unlearn previous behaviors. And in those cases, what we will find is that our body will be behaving a certain way. And we want it to behave a different way. So we need to really work on the thinking part of things. So when you think about cultivating um, a new way of thinking and a new way of doing, the thinking would be learning new information, theories, uh, philosophies, any knowledge type of thing that you consume. Now, normally, when we learn, there's two things that we need to take into consideration. First, we learn the thing. So our brain creates a connection where we did not have one. Now, if we only create that connection once, right, and we don't repeat the learning, the connection will go away again. Um, in neuroscience, there is a, a term, um, neurons, neurons that fire together, wire together. So that's basically the concept. They will start wiring together. But for them to stay together, we need to repeat it. So it's all well and good, for instance, listening to this presentation once, because then you have the new connections. It's even better if you do it a couple of times in order for your brain to actually retain that information over a longer period. The same goes for um, the, the saying, if we don't use it, we lose it. So that works in the brain too. So this, as, as we don't use certain of the things that we've learned, we lose them. They physically go away. So that is the learning bit of it. Now, the doing bit of it, you can do by um, exposing yourself to new experiences, embarking on new e events, trying out new things. And when we try them out, depending on whether our body has a link to it in the past or not, we will have certain feelings coming up. So sometimes the feelings might not be quite what we want it to be in that specific situation. And that means we need to teach our body to reprogram it in order for us to have the feeling we want that is equal to the um, event or the environment that we're in. So an example of this would be if you think about going on stage. So for most people, speaking in front of a lot of people is a little bit nerve-wracking. So what happens with our body is you get clammy hands and your heart beats a little bit faster and your, your muscles might shake a little bit. Now, if you think about that experience in your body and you have linked it to nervousness, the brain will automatically go into I'm nervous and it will become thought, it would um, start to create thoughts that says, I'm nervous, I don't want to be here, uh, what, what would happen? And it, it 
sort of makes the whole situation worse and makes the feeling worse inside of us. If, however, we have linked that same clammy hands, heart beating a little bit faster, muscles sort of being in anticipation to excitement, because exactly the same things happen when we get excited, right? We then link it to excitement in our brain. What happens is the brain think, oh, I'm excited. I can't wait for this. This is going to be so thrilling and exhilarating. And it's a totally different experience that we're having from the same things that happened in the body. Um, also, another thing to take into consideration is that our body, depending on what we've linked um, our experience to, will create the, the hormones and the different receptors for that experience. So if nervousness, you will start to go into more of a flight or fight type of um, situation. Whereas if you have linked it to excitement, you will go more into a creative um, and a happy space within your body and within your brain. So it makes quite a difference what we link our different experiences to. Then the very last part is how we can use this. So the way for, we, for us to use this is, um, as you guys will remember, for those of you that has done some of the others, uh, in resilience, right, in the resilience series that we've done, this helps a lot with helping us build resilience into our life. So the way we think and the way our brain operates, as I explained, with the um, excitement versus nervousness exercise, that is basically a way of being resilient. The way we think about the experience helps us to be resilient. Um, another thing that it helps us with is our expression in our environment. So when we think about who we want to be in the environment and how we want to show up for that specific thing, for a specific person in a specific situation, when we start growing our brain, we can show up the way we want to instead of being at the mercy of whatever has been programmed into us before. Because a lot of times we go through life unconscious of what we are programming into ourselves. So once we wake up to this and we start actively programming ourselves the way we want to, we can actually show up the way we want to. And then, of course, the very last one is that physically there is a change because the way we think and the way we feel actually creates um, reactions within our body because our brain will tell the body what to do, um, what sort of hormones and um, all the rest of the, the little parts it needs to um, make, basically, for us to be able to feel a certain way. So if we can change our brain to a different way of thinking and being having a link to a feeling that is more inducive and positive for ourselves, we actually have a positive impact on our physical well-being as well as our mental well-being. And that would be the way that we can use this information in daily life. Bravo, bravo, excellent. Thank you. <laughs> I love how your, uh, your, your presentations are adding an element of, uh, I want to say, the study of the brain in a clinical perspective. You're, uh, I think you're taking it from coaching to another level. Well, 
it's good to to see what we have in in other resources so there is so much research that they've been doing especially lately um on the brain and how it works and the different elements that actually affects it and it's good for us to know what's happening right how it works because the more we know how it works and we understand what is happening, the easier it is for us to change it. If it's just a, oh, but it's because I say so, you sort of go, hmm, yeah, okay, I can try it out or I cannot try it out. Whereas when it's something that they actually studied and you can see the difference because they've, they've physically studied these things and it's so fascinating. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I know you're very passionate about that. That comes through for sure. Well, I hope that it is helpful for our listeners and watchers, of course, people that watch us, um, and that they find value in it and can start utilizing it in their own lives. And if you happen to miss the beginning of the presentation or the beginning of the show, please go over to YouTube to Dr. Jacqueline LLC, subscribe, and you can watch the show from the beginning. So thank you very much, Mariska. Always a pleasure seeing you and having you here on the stage. It is always a pleasure being with you, Dr. Jacqueline. I do want to let you know that going forward, this show is going to be one half hour earlier because of the sun setting the sun is it's <laughs> i have to keep moving everything early and early because the sun wants to hit my green screen so and i will also be offering an option that won't work for you but for the people in the uk um, i'll disclose that later but uh, so just want to let you know half an hour earlier earlier going forward well luckily that works for me it's um about 10 in the morning at the moment so we will just start at nine o'clock and Excellent. i'm all good that fantastic and if you would just share with people how they can get in touch with you in case they're on the radio and they can't read the banner oh yes very important so that our listeners also know how to get hold of me so you can get hold of me via my email it's mariska m-a-r-i-s-k-a at journey to discover so j-o-u-r-n-e-y to the number two discover d i s c o v e r dot com all right thank you very much i hope you have a beautiful day and i look forward to seeing you hopefully next week well i will definitely be back next week and i will be sharing a little bit more on what we can do with our brain Ooh, we can hardly wait fantastic <laughs> thank you and i look forward to seeing you again Thank you, doctor. Bye. Bye. That was a brilliant show with two expert presenters. And that wraps up our lineup for today of programming. We had five shows today, five shows yesterday. By the way, I'm still standing for all my shows. Yay. I wish you could lose weight miraculously by standing, but sadly it doesn't happen. Tomorrow we have seven shows. So I just want to announce what they are because we have a brand new show starting tomorrow. And uh, I'm just going, I'm going to ask you to go to the website so you can check out all of the different times. But we're starting tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is 2 p.m. British Summer Time. And our show is called Life's Amazing Journey, starring John Christian. John is an international celebrity, and he's also a phenomenal life coach, transformation coach, and helping people all over the world. So we have a show together, and the first one is tomorrow, and starring uh, John, and our featured guest is Dr. Rob Pennington. So I hope you'll join us for that. Right after that, we're going into A Better You, Lessons from the Best, and our presenters are Mike Boisenault, and we have Hyatt Ives. Oh no, we have uh, Daphne. We do have Hyatt and we have Daphne. Uh, Daphne Deluche, this will be our first presentation. So we have Mike, Hyatt, and Daphne. Right after that, we have fashion, fitness, travel, and leisure with my co-host Diane Floyd Bain. And our guest is Danny Gringlinger. So we're excited to meet her. From there, we have I Have a Story to Tell, 
And my guest is Chase Cooner at 3.30, again, all Eastern times, uh, at five hours for British summertime. We have presenting Pet Psychic Amina, and we are very pleased to welcome back Sunil Bashkarin. At 5 p.m., Stories of Hope, Inspiration, and Overcoming Adversity, Lisa Tony is joining us, and she's got quite a story. At 6 p.m., we have the Variety Show, and I will be hosting that show by myself. Lori Mendelson has moved over to the Dating Show, in case you missed that earlier. Our guest is Elaine Sugar. So we have a great day of programming to kick off the holiday weekend here in the States. If you'd like to see any of our programs that you missed, please go over to Dr. Jacqueline LLC on YouTube and subscribe. You can also watch us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitch TV, and of course, YouTube. All you have to do is go to drjacqueline.com and go to the tab, watch our shows. My final announcement for today is about my book. You're going to get sick of hearing it, but my book is now available behind the green screen, how to succeed in the live broadcasting business. In fact, I have not even received my own copy. This is my mother's copy. It came today. My copy is not coming till Saturday. And if you're waiting for me to send you a book, the author's copies don't come into the middle of June. So this is a book that is really for everyone and anyone who is looking to make a change in their life, whether it's personally or professionally. This is also for women in business and entrepreneurs. And of course, if you are looking to go into the live broadcasting business, I walk you through everything that I did. I provide checklists and hopefully you will find that to be helpful. I also have included my own professional networking gold mine. So in the book, people who have helped me throughout the years, they have a special place in that book. So again, please go over to Amazon. It's $19.99 and just put in Dr. Jacqueline Kerbeck. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate your support and loyalty as we continue to grow and have a platform for people to share their stories. That's what this is all about. It's, it's about people feeling safe, people being authentic, people being transparent and sharing their stories with us. I wish you a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Thank you again for being here. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.